hi and welcome back with another tutorial in this video we will be looking at shadowbox and how we can generate meshes using shadowbox so let's open some z project let's open this cube so if we go to down into our geometry tab there is this shadowbox tab right here so if i click on on it right now you can see that we have a cube and some kind of uh, faces surrounding it so if i control click and drag to clear my mask so this is what shadow box looks like by default so shadow box is a way of generating mesh on the basis of mask because we covered uh, masking in the last video in detail so i decided to make a video on shadow box so if i turn on my symmetry and draw a mask like this you can see that it has generated a mesh and if i draw a mask here as well it will confirm the mesh and change its shape according to it you can see that it's uh, generating this mesh according to the mask on all sides it's also uh, cutting the holes so let me change my masking brush to something a bit different for example if i mask a circle it will uh, create a mesh like this but i want it more thickness uh, on the other side so i can just uh, go to my mask rectangle and make it more thicker on this axis and you will see that uh, it has grown thicker so let's turn the perspective off for now because uh, we are using mask brushes and uh, i don't want uh, perspective to mess up with this so i can just Select my mask brush again and uh, mask some portion out of it. We're gonna also do something like uh, we can cut it on this axis as well. So, for example, I let me create a square and let me unmask some portion of it like this, and you will see that uh, it's cutting out of the geometry. okay so right now the mesh resolution is a bit too low so i can just turn off my shadow box and we will have our mesh but i want to increase the resolution a little bit and uh, open shadow box again and you can see that now it's smooth but uh, because our original uh, mask has been blurred right now we cannot see the sharp edges so let's turn the transparency again and let's see real quick so let's cut some masking portion from this and make it the edges hard again okay. we can already see that shadow box is super important uh, super useful for generating all types of uh, meshes based on the mask And if you uh, click on shadow box here, you will have your geometry which you can append or use into your other pro projects. So if I uh, open my light box and uh, there must be some shadow box presets, maybe. Yeah. yeah. If I go to my tool menu and we have this shadow box presets, so if I click this preset out, this. Uh, 128c2 you can see that we have some texture applied onto it uh, which is representing the back right and bottom and you can see that if you go to the this texture map tab you will see that we have uh, a texture so i can just clone this texture and we will have it here i can export it out let's export to my desktop and press ok so if I open this texture in Photoshop and create a mask on the basis of texture then I will be able to extract that mesh uh, according to the texture that I have created. So let me import some ornament designs that I want in my geometry. So 
so let me import this texture so if i click on this texture map and click on this import button i can import more whatever texture i have made so this is how the texture looks right now so if i go to my masking tab which i covered in the last video and click on mask by intensity in the color tab and uh, turn off the texture you can see that i have mask applied onto it but you can see that th this mask is very blurred up and it won't uh, generate a good mesh for example if i you can see this is very blurred so when you're masking the texture you have to just uh create a dot or some other thing for the shadow box to kick in so it is very important uh, that uh, you must click on you must mask some portion or add a dot in order for shadow box to kick in so let's undo shadow box increase the resolution to like 464 and let's and mask it turn on our texture mask by intensity turn off our texture and you can see that it hasn't generated the mesh until I, I tweak this mask so you can see that I just masked it uh, some portion again and it has generated the shape so you can see that we can generate very complex shapes uh, through shadow box and the more resolution we have in our texture and the more resolution we have on this slider here the more complex the geometry we can generate from the shadow box and you can also change its uh, thickness on uh, some axis like this and you can create multiple version of uh, a single geometry and then create insert mesh brushes on this one and uh, this will be super useful when you're working on some ornamental design or some other patterns and you can use it to create multiple forms so uh, we can also use shadow box with the symmetry option for example if i go to my transform menu and activate symmetry and turn my radial symmetry on as well so so right now you can see that I have multiple points on my keyboard. We will be covering radial symmetry later on, but for now I will be just um, touching it briefly. So yeah, let me turn the transparency off on because otherwise my mask wasn't generating as clearly as it should have. some other portion must have covering this up so that's why it's not generating it up maybe let's try again yeah so now it's working okay Yeah, so it is very important. Uh, shadow box won't generate meshes if you go towards the edges in some cases because it will uh, start to behave weirdly. Let's turn on the transparency. So you can see that um, we can easily create meshes on the basis of uh, shadow box and we can just uh, accept this mesh and uh, see the mesh it creates uh, insert mesh brushes on it so let's go to the brush tab and go to create create insert mesh click on new and we can just easily let's make this poly mesh 3 and uh, insert meshes on multiple locations like this so you can use shadow box for creating meshes or ornamental design or some shield pattern or some other thing that you want on your character and you can then create an insert mesh brush uh, after creating the geometry and you can use it on your character so that was all for for shadow box from me and see you in the next video